everybody, this is your boy Jay Phil with another video. Today is a special day. I have been blessed to see another year of life. And today is a little sentimental. I'll just I got this birthday card from Wifey. And this is have to be this has to be the best birthday card I've ever gotten. It's a it's a uh, it says for my husband you were my hero when we first met and you still are and some other stuff blah 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 we ain't gonna get in all that but it actually has like the superman emblem and she knows that i love comic book characters that's dc and marvel but anyway today we're going to talk about how to make your drums sound like it came from a drum break or vinyl so let's get into it all right so for me what I love about drum breaks is the grittiness of it. And so most of the time the grit is going to come from vinyl, okay? So that's what makes that dirty, 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 raw hip-hop sound. You know what I'm talking about? So what makes that sound is the in-between the hits, okay? So in-between the snare, in-between the hi-hat, in-between the kick. So what we're going to do is emulate that. So to do that first, you got to get you some static, some, some vinyl sound by itself. So let's sample that real quick. Alright, I already have my drum machine in sample mode. So I'm going to hit record and just play some empty vinyl. That's enough right there, alright? Alright, so I just sampled my vinyl, which is right here. Can y'all hear that? Alright. So, what I want to happen, what you could do, there's two options you could do. You could just make your beat, I have a kick, and then a snare, and a hi-hat. You could make your pattern, whatever, and then just play the vinyl on top of that whole thing as that's going, okay? I touched that, I touched on that subject a little bit on another video. If, you, if you're interested, you could watch it here. Alright, so anyway... Or the second option is to have the vinyl play every time the kick starts and also the snare. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to play your kick as it plays the vinyl. So when you hit the kick, it's going to hit vinyl. You're going to use something called simul, which is short for simultaneous. Okay. So it's very important before you do this, go to program. You want to pay attention to what is the note number of your where your vinyl is which is in this case 39 okay my kick is on note 73 alright very important this vinyl is on 39 kick 73 so I'm on kick I want to change this where it says mode y'all see that change that to simul just use the cursor or just use the the uh, rotary dial to sign mode. Alright, also play note. It's off right now. So now you're going to have to find the note. Now we want it to, to play vinyl so it's going to be 39, right? Now this should happen. Okay, so now it's done. I'll show you. This is the kick, this is the vinyl. I'm going to play this and it'll play both. Watch. See that? Now you could do the same thing for the snare drum, okay? So I got my snare drum. It's already on normal mode, so I'm going to train I'm going to change it to sign mode again and then use note 39. That will play that will allow me to play the snare and the vinyl at the same time so if you use this technique this is a very good technique so you can layer you know what I mean this is a good way to layer your drums if you want to you can add another note so in essence you could have three layers for one sound you know what I mean so now now it sounds kinda like a break You can hear that vinyl in it. You see what I mean? So that's it, y'all. Have fun. I'm having fun on my birthday. June 5th, 2013. Another year of life. Thank y'all for watching. Have fun. Positive energy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Babe, I love you. I'll see you soon. Later.
Jay Phil. <laughs> <laughs>